Hi everybody, Jeremy here from Vigi Test Studio and today I'm going to talk to you about a new functionality that has been added with DaVinci Resolve 18.5. It's auto-generated subtitle. This functionality is only available for the studio version of DaVinci Resolve. Unfortunately, it's not available for the free version. And for now, it's only supporting English subtitle. Even though DaVinci Resolve 18.5 is only in beta right now, it's already doing a very, very good job. Sometimes for me, I'm getting some error, but it's also because I'm not a native English speaker and I will not have the right intonation or the right pronunciation on some word but I've run some tests with movie and all the interview that I have with native English speaker and I didn't run into any issue for the most part so I was really really impressed by that it's really easy to do so if you're ready let's get right into it all right so in DaVinci Resolve right now we're on the edit page and here I have a clip in my timeline and now to just auto generate subtitles it's really easy you just need to go over here to timeline and select create subtitles from audio and then it will just prompt open that window which gives you the choice for the language at the moment there is only english supported but i hope that in the future they will add more language then you have the caption preset i thought that with caption preset i will have my preset for the style of the caption that will appear here but there is none of them that are here at the moment there is only those three and i've tried all of them and they have the same style so right now i'm just going to select the default mode and then here you can select the maximum character you want per line so right now that will never go above 42 unique character now we can just create and that's going to automatically generate the subtitle. All right, so right now it has been generated. But if we play it, as you can see, there is right now a few error. I suspect that it's because I'm not a native English speaker and therefore it doesn't necessarily do the best job ever. And it will probably work way better with someone that is a native English speaker. But also the second issue that I find is that sometimes timing is not exactly right, uh, especially into the flow of your sentences. So here when I cite, hey everybody, Jeremy here, the here should be here, not at the beginning of the second sentence. But that's a very easy fix and that just gives you already a great base to just do your subtitle and help you shave a lot of time from the initial work. So right now if I zoom in my timeline, I can see that I start my from right here. So here I'm just going to adapt my subtitle to start here and I'm going to extend this one and I'm just going to add the here to the first subtitle so i'm gonna go to caption then here i'm gonna do jeremy here and then i'm gonna delete the second one right there i'm gonna also fix here the video editor studio and that will flow a lot better now i have a more in-depth video about caption that goes through how to style your caption etc i will link to that video in the description below but basically you can just jump around each of the subtitles that have been generated to make some alteration and for example here we can see that in the next subtitle there is a mistake as well it's not in it's end so you can quickly bounce around and make your correction that way now if you wanted to make some change to the style of your subtitle you can go over to the track and then here you can make a bunch of modification like the font the size the overall position adding a drop shadow a background etc to your subtitle all those modifications will be to the entire group so that will affect the entire track right here if you want to be specific for whatever reason you want one of the subtitle to have a different style from the group track you can easily go to caption and with the one that you want to modify selected you can go to customize caption and then here it will give you some individual adjustment for example if i want to switch this one from yellow to white that will be the only one here in my group that will be yellow that will not affect the entire group you can also create your own preset by just going over here to that menu and then here as you can see i have a preset already created which is a yellow subtitle and i can choose to load that preset directly and it will affect the entire group you can then at any moment make some modifications for example here switching the font from light to regular for example and we could then go back to that preset and update it it will ask me if i want to update it i can select yes and now it has been saved at any moment you can go back to that preset and you can either export it or delete it to create a new preset you can just make any modification that you would like and then you can simply go to that same menu and save track as preset name it for example here magenta and we're gonna save that and it will appear in the menu and now we can easily bounce back between that yellow preset and that 
Magenta preset if we want. Once you're happy with your subtitle and you don't want to make any more modification, I would suggest to just unlock that track. So then no change can be made by mistake to those. At any moment you can unlock that track, but I will just use that as a precaution. If you want to export your subtitle as a SRT file, you can simply right click on that track and then here you will have the possibility to export a subtitle. It will prompt up on a window and then you can just choose the location, the name and save it wherever you want. Now, if you want to export your video with a subtitle burned in it, you can just go directly to the export page. And then once you've selected your preferred export setting, you can just scroll all the way down to subtitle setting. And then here you can toggle export subtitle. You will have a couple options with the format, either as a separate file, like a SRT, like what we've just done before, as an embedded caption, or directly burn into the video. So right now we can select that and then we can just add to render queue and render your video. And that's very much it. I hope this video was helpful. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. Let me know in the comment what kind of video you'd like to see next and see you in the next one. Bye. Speed up your workflow and create better videos using the pack available on our website, including titles, transition, and templates built only for DaVinci Resolve. Get started today by downloading our free starter pack that contains over 150 elements. Link in the description below or at videodetailstudio.com.